I never knew that I thought differently, to be honest with you. Uh, that wasn't something that I really, you know, thought. Um, I just tried to think of the easiest solution. Uh, something that's easy, something that a lot of things are very complicated, very complex. And uh, for me, that puts a lot of focus on on the, uh, the actual effect itself. So I wanted to have to... I try to take and work backwards. I try to make it simple so that I can focus on what I'm doing. But also, once I learn it, I can actually talk. I can perform. So that was the very first, first, first thing. Uh, or that's that's the first thing. So the first thing, like with the ring, the first thing I thought was that's the easiest way. So why not use that? Um, I didn't know that that was different, but uh, I, I guess it is. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, the biggest thing that I found is to create uh, and work as far as you can. And uh, you know, I, you realize that uh, that uh, I read a book and it was talking about how our brains continuously solve problems. Like if you ever been uh, somebody called or you're trying to think of a person but you don't remember their name, you don't remember their name, and then you stop, you go do whatever you want, and two hours two hours later. Uh, you instantly remember what their name is. It's because your brain continuously works on it. So I thought, why don't I try to apply that to magic? So what I do is I work on something until I get to a point to where it just doesn't doesn't make any sense anymore for me to go any further, and uh, and I can't go any further, and then I just leave it alone. And it may take a week, it may take a month, it may take a year, but eventually your brain will figure out something and help you create that. Uh, that's a big secret. Uh, another big thing is uh, uh, an exercise I used to do is I used to uh, wake up in the morning, and the first thing, uh, within the first 30 seconds, I would wake up and I would write three ideas down, and I would put a page in my notebook, and I wouldn't look at it. And I did that for six months, and not look at the book. And then six months later, I go to the very first page, and I look at what the first page says, and it forces you to think about what you were trying to think of then. So you, your creativity starts sparking. You come up with different solutions, different problems. It's very, very, very good. Um, same thing with your desk. If you don't clean your desk, wait three or four months, and then start cleaning, and you start seeing ideas that you were playing with. That way you can start thinking of those different projects again. Yeah, normally it's not magic at all, actually. Um, music, I get influenced a lot from music. Um, visuals, though, that's probably the big thing. Paintings, uh, sometimes I'll see something and that will make me think uh, that I can use that for a principle or, uh, or something like that. The, the biggest, uh, as far as, the biggest influence, not it hasn't been, not for creativity, but for performing, um, was uh, Dale Carnegie's book, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, I think that teaches you how to be a, a, a real person, how to be true to yourself, and how to, how to be the person that everybody should be. Um, and so that's probably been the biggest magic book, and it's not a magic book, but I consider it a magic book. Uh, it always changes, to be honest with you. I, I, you know, I love watching magic. Everything from somebody who just started to somebody who, you know, who has been doing like comedy, has been doing for years. He's a he's a huge influence. You know, uh, I met Danny Deartiz. He was a big influence uh, at the time. It always changes. Uh, when I was younger, I did dub magic. Uh, you know, there was a lot of people that I saw: Lance Burton, Tony Clark, uh, Vito Lupo with the Nip. Um, it always changes. I always find something. Uh, I think that every single person, every single magician, can inspire you. It doesn't matter how young or how old they are. Every single magician can teach you something. Everyone. Uh, I think a good magician is somebody who doesn't just do tricks. Somebody who thinks about every single thing they're doing, every move they do, thinks about every look they take, uh, which way their feet are positioned, which way their body's positioned, um, why they move their hand before they do a move, or, or uh, you know, in the lecture today I talked about uh, you know doing a card control, but doing the card control as you reached for something to give you motivation. Those little things I think are what make a good magician. Um, also, choice. I think uh, choice is very underused in magic. Giving people the freedom of things, you know, timing forces, things like that. Those are very free and very open. The spectator feels like they had choice, and I think that that choice takes magic from magic to miracles. Uh, to be honest with you, it sounds cheesy, but uh, I think that uh, life. I think life is magic. Um, I think that this, all of us being here, and all of us, uh, you know, being part of this small community. And, you know, me 
meeting new people and being in the right place right life itself is the biggest magic that you could ever feel.